to Mullins, earnings is out. Let's go over a little bit of this. If you haven't heard, it's all over Twitter. A lot of mixed emotions, good things, bad things, positive things, negative things. Let's go through it real quick because this is what everyone was expecting. And right now, as I'm making this video at 12.28 p.m. Pacific Standard Time, Mullen is trading at 99 and a half cents. So right below a dollar, we hit lows on the day of 97 and some change. So very close to 97 cents, but I believe they're pushing us back over a dollar right now so we can be our second day NASDAQ compliant being over a dollar as we were on Friday. We closed on Friday at $1 and one cent. So let's dive into this a little bit, okay? So as you can see above me, the company ended fiscal third quarter on June 30th, 2023 with stockholders equity of 351.8 million compared to 157 million on September 30th, 2022, which represents an increase of 124%. During the quarter ended on June 30th, 2023, the company successfully secured 100 million in funding. Now pay close attention to this from its series, series D preferred stock investors, which completes all remaining investment obligations to Series D holders. Now remember the Series D was a lot of the warrants, I believe, and a lot of where the dilution came from. So they said completes all remaining investment obligation to the Series D holders as of June 30th, 2023. With the latest investment, the company's cash and cash cash equivalents exceed 200 million as of July 3rd, 2023, bolstering our liquidity and supporting our move from prototype to production for commercial vehicles. Now, is that enough cash on hand to go into production? No, but I think it is smart that they have some cash on hand, obviously for the $25 million buyback, but also it just looks good. When a company has cash on hand, we've talked about this with Palantir, we've talked about this with DNA stock. Now those two stocks are completely different from Mullen, but just kind of relating a couple situations with you all. The next biggest thing is August 24th, 2023, the company will host a commercial EV production launch, right? And when I spoke with Brad from Randy Marion, he's going to this event Randy Marion himself is going to this event, a bunch of people. Greg from MGT is going to this event and they're gonna be driving the class three vehicle off the lot. I think Randy Marion's gonna be driving the, the vehicle off the lot. So again, that's gonna be the next biggest event that we're all waiting for. But the more important thing is becoming NASDAQ compliant. They only did a nine for one reverse stock split, uh, which a lot of the board members were very weary of from what David has said because they wanted a much higher split, like a 50 or a 100. I want to talk about the strikingly different tour right here. Um, we have Bollinger Motors got a $3 million grant. We're all aware of this. They did the split and then there's some IGO news below me. You can read that, that they delivered some IGO. But the biggest thing, and I'm going to make this video short and sweet now, trading close to $1.99.6 right now. The biggest thing is Molin shows revenue. And correct me if I'm wrong, but I believe this is the first time that Mullen has ever had revenue. Now it looks like garbage and it's not great once I show you this, but that is a step in the right direction in my opinion. Let's first look at their assets. September 30th, 2022, they had 54 million in assets. Uh, I'm sorry, with cash and cash equivalents. Now you can see in June 30th, 2023, they have over 200 million in cash and cash equivalents now. The, the sad part is that they've diluted us, um, which is not a positive thing. The stock price is in the garbage, but them as a company, that looks good. Total current assets as of 2022 of September, they had 86 million and now they're at 255 million. Now, if you look at their total assets, basically with the property and everything, they have 559 million in assets and September 30th, 2022, they were just over 300 million in assets. So. The assets alone should make the market cap go up, but it's not. Now here's the revenue I was talking about. So you can see right there, this is three months and then June 30th, 2023. So that's good, right? That they got revenue, but total operating expense over 53 million, loss from operations over 53 million. There's a lot of numbers on this screen. And even if you dive deeper into this, but that's, that's the reality is they lost money. They made revenue which is great it's the first time in their history i believe that they collected on revenue and i'm sure more will come as they deliver to randy marion but it's very expensive to run this business so it doesn't look the best but again you have to understand what type of company mullen is 
They're just getting things off the ground now with production, deliveries, and collecting on revenue. So we're right around the corner from all of that. And then here we go with the charts. Drew this the other day. This is what I would hope for to happen. We need to break this yellow trend line moving up. It looks like that could happen in the next two days. So it's gonna be interesting to see if we get any news to make us start to move up. I would be looking for $1.57. Would probably be an area of strong resistance in my opinion as I kind of look on my end. Yeah, probably $1.57, maybe $1.65 would be very strong resistance as you can see this red line. I would expect us to be in some choppiness as we trade unless this thing just decides to squeeze, which we all know it definitely can if the right news comes about. But again, you wanna be watching the 50 SMA, which right now is trading at $1.90. That's that blue line. And Mullen, as I'm looking at it as right now, is trading at 9990. So literally a tenth away from a dollar and market closes in 19 minutes. RSI has been chilling at 30 for the last couple weeks. Stochastic is pointing up, momentum's going up. But again, that doesn't really matter with Mullen. It needs news, it needs belief. It needs institutional money. That's not coming anytime soon. We gotta get the stock price a lot higher than a dollar in my opinion. Appreciate you guys for watching this video. Short and sweet, wanna give you a little overview of really what has happened on their earnings call and a little bit of the charts. We just hit a dollar by the way. Don't forget to drop a like. None of this is financial advice. See you on the next one.